Hello students, in continuation with lecture series of quantum statistics, today we will discuss the Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution function for energy, momentum and velocity. We will be deriving the mathematical expression for the three conditions in which we will require certain basic mathematics formulas. So please be ready with the pen and paper and do it step by step with us. Also subscribe to the channel if you want a free PDF of whatever is being taught. Let us begin. It is a very important question or asked in almost all exams which are carrying quantum statistics as their syllabus. The question is that you have to derive Maxwell Boltzmann law of distribution of molecular speed in or momentum or energy. How are we going to begin with it? Now the two scientists, Maxwell and Boltzmann, what they did are they are res responsible for the velocity distribution of gas molecules. Now, we know that G1, G2, G3, etc. be the number of cells which are corresponding to energy interval 1, 2, etc. And N1, N2 be the number of molecules in each energy interval. U1, U2, U3 be the mean energies of the particles. Here in this diagram, here it should be U1, U2, U3, N1, N2, N3, number of molecules and G1, G2, G3 be the number of cells. Now, as per our previous lecture, we know that Maxwell-Boltzmann statistics is a pure exponential function given by n i equal to g i upon e to the power of alpha plus beta u i where g uh, equation gives the number of gas molecules in the ith cell and this is determining the most probable distribution of molecules among various energy compartments v u i are the energy in the ith cell GI is the phase cell and NI is the number in that specific ith level or ith cell. We will today derive these constants alpha and beta. Once we get the values of these constants, we will automatically get the equation for Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution function for energy, momentum and speed. So let us begin. What we are going to do is we will first evaluate GI. That is the uh, GI for evaluating this. Let us assume that the unit of energy which mean value U in the interval between U minus half and U plus half. NU be the number of molecules that are lying in this energy level, then the Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution function becomes equal to NU is equal to GU into E to the power of minus alpha into E to the power of minus beta U, where once again, GU is the number of cells in the phase space corresponding to unit energy U as its mean value. Now, from our basic concepts of physics, we know that momentum is equal to mass into velocity and energy is equal to half mv square. Both we will compare these equations and we can write U in terms of P as energy equal to P square upon 2M, where P is momentum and M is mass. Now, we will put this value of U in the expression of Maxwell-Boltzmann and we get it as NPDP is equal to GP e to the power of minus alpha into e to the power of minus beta P square upon 2M. This will also be in the exponential power. Then we will now... Uh, GP, is, GP is equal to number of cells in the phase space corresponding to momentum interval between P and P plus DP here, this expression. Now, 
in this expression, we should remember, we have studied earlier that H cube is the volume of a single cell in phase space. Therefore, GP, that is number of cells in space, phase space corresponding to momentum between P and P plus DP is given by volume in phase space divided by volume of the single cell in phase space. So now since this is a phase space, it will consist of position and momentum coordinates and we will integrate it over the whole space for position dx dy dz, momentum dp dy dz and divide it by volume of the single cell. So we get for dx dy dz volume of system in ordinary position. What is volume? Volume is length into breadth into height. And so we can write it as capital V. H cube is volume of single cell. And dpx dpy dpz volume of the system in momentum because P is momentum. Now, you can once again see here in this diagram, we are only considering this gray or shaded portion between P and P plus DP. That is all. So, now all the points lying on the sphere will have momentum P given by P square is equal to Px square plus Py square plus Pz square. We also know that the formula for volume is area into length. So, surface area of sphere 4 pi r square. In this case, it will be 4 p square. Thickness of the cell uh, dp. Look at this diagram again. See here this 4 pi p square. p how? p plus dp minus p and the thickness of the shell will be p. So, 4 pi p square. We will put this value here in this expression and putting the value we get n p d p is equal to 4 pi v p square upon h cube into e to the power of minus alpha into e to the power of minus beta p square upon 2 m d p. Now, we have evaluated GP. Now, next step is to evaluate alpha. For this, we know that the total number of molecules is equal to N. These molecules have values of momentum ranging from 0 to P maxima, where P maximum is the maximum value of momentum that any molecule can have. So, integrating or summing from 0 to P maxima N P D P. For values of P greater than P maxima, N P D P becomes equal to 0 because there are no molecules having P greater than P maxima. And after putting this integral sign, we will use a mathematics formula integral 0 to infinity x square e to the power of minus alpha x square dx is equal to 1 upon 4 under root pi upon a cube. This is a standard formula and you will be needing this formula in further derivations also. So now we put this formula here, integral 0 to infinity p square e to the power of minus beta p square upon 2m. Here we put the formula here. A we have put as beta upon 2m. For q, further solving this, we get putting this value n p d p is equal to 4 pi v p square upon h cube e to the power of minus alpha into e to the power of minus beta p square upon 2m dp. Putting this value, we get the equation as n p dp equal to 4 pi n n h cube upon v into beta upon 2 pi m to the power of 3 by 2 p square e to the power of minus beta p square upon 2 m dp. Now, we know h cube is volume of single cell. So, for n cells, how much does the volume become? nh cube, which again equals to V. So, nh cube is equal to V. Putting this value of V, 
for n cells total volume becomes equal to nh cube equal to v we get npdp is equal to 4 pi n into beta upon 2 pi m to the power of 3 by 2 p square e to the power of minus beta p square upon 2m dp. Now, in order to evaluate this beta, what we do is we use the famous formula of momentum and kinetic energy. p square is equal to 2mu or p is under root 2mu or p square upon 2m is equal to u. We differentiate this expression using this formula d by dx x to the power of n is equal to n x to the power of n minus 1. m will obviously be a constant for non-relativistic case. We will get and momentum is mass into velocity. We get dp equal to m upon 2u to the power of half du. Now putting the value of p square equal to 2mu and dp equal to m upon 2u to the power of half du. We have used this formula here and we get the expression on simplifying and putting the value as npdp equal to 2n upon under root pi beta to the power of 3 by 2 u to the power of half e to the power of minus beta u du. This relation gives us the number of molecules lying in the energy interval u and u plus du in terms of beta only. Total energy of these molecules is u into n u du and total energy of the system consisting of all n molecules is given by u is equal to integral 0 to infinity u n u du equal to 2 n upon under root pi beta to the power of 3 by 2 integral 0 to infinity u to the power of 3 by 2 e to the power of minus beta u du. Again, we use our famous mathematics uh, formula, which I just told you, integral 0 to infinity x to the power of 3 by 2, e to the power of minus ax is equal to 3 upon 4a square under root pi upon a. Putting Using this formula and simplifying it further, we get the total energy of the system as comparing the above, we get u is equal to 3 by 2 nkt. Comparing it with the standard formula, we get beta equal to 1 upon kt. And beta we have evaluated. Now it becomes very easy. What we will be doing, we will simply put beta equal to 1 upon kt in this expression to get Maxwell's law of distribution of energy. So Maxwell's law of distribution of energy is n u du equal to 2 n upon under root pi into 1 upon kt to the power of 3 by 2 u to the power of half e to the power of minus u kt divide du. And for momentum also, what we will do, we will put beta equal to 1 upon kt and we will get the expression for momentum for speed. We know that momentum is mass into velocity and putting this value of p equal to mv and simplifying it further, we get nv dv is equal to 4 pi n into m upon 2 pi kt to the power of 3 by 2 e to the power of minus mv square upon 2 kt v square dv. This relation gives the number of molecules having speed or velocity between V and V plus dV. This is known as Maxwell-Boltzmann law of distribution of velocities. Since it involved a lot of mathematics, you please reread it uh, in order to understand the step-by-step -step derivation, which we have tried to make very simple for you. So the quick revision is Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution law is 
एन आई इक्वल टू जी आई अपॉन ई टू द पावर ऑफ एल्फा प्लस बीटा यू आई वेर जी आई इज नंबर ऑफ सेल्स एन आई नंबर ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स एंड यू आई द मीन एनर्जी वन मैथमेटिक्स फॉर्मूला विच वी विल नीड इज इंटीग्रल जीरो टू इंफिनिटी एक्स स्क्वेर ई टू द पावर ऑफ माइनस ए एक्स स्क्वेर डी एक्स इक्वल टू वन अपॉन फोर under root pi upon a cube h cube is volume of a single cell p square is 2 mu beta is 1 upon kt where k is boltzmann constant and maxwell boltzmann energy distribution look at the three expressions for energy it is u for momentum it is p for velocity it is v so For energy, it is equal to two n upon under root pi into one upon kt to the power of three by two u to the power of half e to the power of minus u kt. For momentum, it is four pi n into one upon two pi m kt to the power of three by two p square e to the power of minus p square upon two kt m. For velocity, it is four pi n into m upon two pi kt to the power of three by two e to the power of minus v m v square upon two kt. Thank you.